Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about electrodes. I did a blog on this that I'll link in the comments section about how I don't like the rubber, or no, these are the sticky, sticky gel electrodes. I don't like those. I do like the rubber carbon ones. I have this box, this box with many samples of electrodes that, that I don't use. I ordered many from China to see which I like. See, these are the socks. Those are actually, I'll do a special blog on those, the socks and the gloves. They're no joke. I'm just storing them in there, but they're things I'll use. Um, that's a pretty good size, but it's smooth, so the water all fell off more so than these ones, which were a little smaller, but they have like a stippled pad, so the water stays on better. So if I could get these stippled, that might be my favorite, but these are stippled, so these are my favorite. Um, not bad, but it's kind of in between size, but if I'm trying to do an aerobic stimulation thing or just blood flow, these ones are better. Still bigger than these. And these are like $30 each, and these are like $10 each. And if you buy a thousand of them, you can get it for a lot cheaper than that, but nobody needs a thousand. Alibaba is where I found those. Oh, what else I got? These are like some spongy ones you have to wet, but that looks like a bacteria trap. All these I can wash with soap and water. Um, small rubber carbon. Um, I don't like little electrodes. Little electrodes hurt more. So, I don't know, I guess you can really focus the stim on one muscle with one of those, but I don't know, when I'm trying to stimulate muscles, I don't want to focus it. I want to hit, if I'm trying to get a small muscle, I'm still going to hit it with a big electrode. That way I can hit as much muscle as I can. And there are some people that try to target motor points with their electric stim and acupuncture points. I blogged on that, I don't really buy into that. I mean, yeah, it kind of works, but if I use a big electrode, I'm just hitting several acupuncture points at the same time and the electric stim is just more comfortable and I just get more muscle mass. Um, I, I go for a lot rather than a little. So that's probably quality, but I never use it. Oh, let's see. Larger sticky ones, I don't like them. I mean, they're better than smaller sticky ones, but I don't use them because they're sticky and they get gross. And I'm hairy, I'm a hairy man. So I don't use them, you know? There's a, there's a paper I did, the one on in that specifically looked at rubber carbon versus sticky gel electrodes, and with rubber carbon, even if they're the same size, the rubber carbon just transmits twice as much electric stim to the muscle with, you get more stim for equal, you double the stimulation for equal the amount of comfort. So you can just stim more to get more of a muscle contraction with less pain by using the rubber carbon electrode, and bigger makes it better still, um, well, so small and sticky, that's just the worst of everything. And so kind of demo, hook up Jada, and, and see what happens. Oh, the other thing is even in the best of all worlds, these wear out. These ones are supposed to wear them out in a year or so, but as long as I just wash them with soap and water, I don't know, I've been going, these things are going good two years strong. And that's daily use with just about every patient that comes in here, I kind of shock everybody and, uh. and they just keep lasting. So, um, the, the thing, the problem with the electrodes, these ones though, is they don't stick in place, so I had to have these straps made. So I had to, I had to special order these, which I'll be probably doing a web store that has them. But it's a wide enough strap that it covers the whole pad. So if you have a big thick pad and you have just a two inch strap, it just doesn't do a lot of good. And then if I need a longer one to go around someone's waist or someone's shoulder, I just stick them together. And they are plenty strong as far as the Velcro goes. I had to have stitching, diamond stitch to go around it, otherwise the Velcro just kept just pulling off the pads. But no buckles, buckles turns out to stink and I save money by not having buckles. And calves to start off with. So these ones are pre-done and they're brand new. So they should at least stick. So that's a brand new one. You can see it's already peeling off. I stuck a brand new pad on there. It's already peeling off. And so when you have this less connection, right there. So see right there, I stick it on there. She's not even hairy and it's already coming off. 
So that kind of, I'm of the opinion that these are just junk. Versus other leg. So we're gonna stimulate her calves, which are my favorite muscles to stimulate in general. Already done. But it's good for demo purposes. <laughs> Spray it with a spray bottle. This is the most convenient, easy way. I have the water literally dripping on there and I don't want it to fall. And so this has a stipulated pad, so it holds the water a little better than the, than the straight ones do. And I just kind of stick it on there. Good to go. But I don't hold it upside down. I don't dab it off. I want that water on there. And boom, good to go. And sometimes people will say it feels prickly or something when the stem's going. So that usually means it's not enough water. So if in doubt, I'm pretty sure she's got enough, but I could just go in there and add some water. Okay, so calves, if I turn this thing up, she's gonna have such a cramp in her leg that she's not gonna be able to hardly bear it. So I'm gonna have her in standing. And... Look, it fell off. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new sticky, these are the ones that come free with all the machines. So every, every machine has a free sticky pad. This is, these are the EV906 ones, which is a pretty good stimulator, but the pads just stick. But almost, they need straps too. The Globus pads come with sticky ones that are a little better than this and a little bigger, but I don't use them either. I just use my carbons. So I want, these things are gonna stay put, and I know they are. Select my program of the many customized programs that I added in here with my Globus Genesee 300, my favorite stimulator in the world. I'm going to do the 10-50-10 program. That is like Russian stimulation, but better with this particular current. And setting the intensity. So, tell you what, let's go up on... Go, these are the... Wow, that one stings. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, you're at... That's it? Okay, yeah. 12, 12 milliamps. Versus now we're doing the rubber carbon. It's already setting her leg back. You can stop right there. Yeah, so she's getting, I'm at 46 milliamps right now. Okay, she's, she's just getting a lot more stim. So I, if I'm trying to, like in this program, this program is designed to strengthen muscle. 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off, gives you plenty of time to rest between contractions so that it contracts hard again. It also works pretty well for pain, surprisingly well for pain. And I'm able to deliver, what did I say, 46 milliamps? 46 milliamps for this leg. And this one got stopped off at I think 13. So we got triple the amount of stem. So if I was trying to increase muscle mass, I'm getting more muscle and strengthening with the, with the rubber carbon electrodes than I am with the sticky electrodes. Okay. Uh, but if I'm also trying to get a lot of electric stim in there to try to just decrease pain with like a TENS pattern or something like that, the same thing. TENS is supposed to work on a dose-response relationship. You're trying to... Um, exploit what's called gate control theory, G-A-T-E, Google that, gate control theory to decrease pain. And I'm just getting a lot less stimulation with these just because they start hurting too much versus with those, you just get a lot more sensation in a comfortable way. Are we right? It doesn't feel like it's electrocuting me. And we'll try to, yeah, doesn't Ow. like, doesn't like that one while blue. Yeah, but it's more of a, ugh, it's a lot of contraction. So we're at 51 on the blue, 13 or 14 on the orange. And that's basically why I don't use those. Plus they're sticky and gross. Yeah. And you have to buy different ones for new people and you have to keep buying them as they wear out versus these, like the Energizer Bunny of Stim Pad.